The basics of being a journalist have never changed. The way you're a journalist changed. You have to have everything on you to be able to capture the moment. Always have to be in a position, basically, to react. We give them everything they need for the day, and then we, we kind of give them a shove. Go out, find the interviews, find the story. I am a multimedia journalist here at WHEC-TV in Rochester, New York, and I've been here for about three and a half years and in the business for five altogether. Backpack journalism means that all of those jobs are wrapped up into one person, and they have to do little pieces of that throughout their day. You have these fantasies about what being a journalist is going to be and what being on TV is going to be, and it's much more common now for you to be by yourself and for all of that work and that pressure to be on you. So I, I get ready to leave the station for the day and I have to make sure I have all of the tools that I have, your camera, your tripod, you wanna have your laptop, you wanna have your P2 card, which is what we put our video on. And then you get in your car and some days you don't come back until your shift is completely over. News to NBC. I am the assignment editor here at News to NBC. I have been here for seven years. My job as an assignment editor is to help facilitate their story, to help them get the ball rolling. If they have a problem, they can call me, I can give them directions, I can give them contact information for people that they're looking for in a story. And everything that they need, their mobile newsroom is with them. It used to be, well, how can I get my microwave signal back to the station? And now it's whether or not they can get a Wi-Fi signal. I'm a general assignment reporter at the Olean Times Herald and my beat is covering uh, the local school districts. There's a lot to it and it never ends. I mean, it, you can be at home, uh, for instance, 4.30 in the morning at that point, you just kind of get in the car, you make sure you have your camera with you, you have your phone with you so you can be sitting there tweeting and updating and you certainly can't be afraid to just kind of like trudge through right onto the scene, you know, if there's a serious fire that is happening or a car accident or something, you need to get that information. You pull up there right in your car and you have all the stuff with you that you're gonna need. You have that recorder out, you have your pen and your pad, you have your camera around your neck, you have your phone out ready to tweet, ready to say whatever, ready to have to make that call if you have to. You just have to be able to go right up there and not be afraid to go and ask those questions. Thinking on your feet is so important because your computer goes down, your battery dies, what can you do? Now in this industry, we put so much weight on it that we have to be ready for that unpredictable failure to happen at a moment's notice. And you just, in the back of your mind, have to have all of those what ifs and all of those what am I gonna do next if this doesn't work. We hope for the best, we prepare for the worst.